What if you want to do the offsetting with your carousel on a loop grid or your post or your products? You can do that with the loop carousel that's available inside Elementor Pro. Let's go and drop in the loop carousel first over here. Just type the word loop in. Make sure you've got it activated in your Elementor features. Let's drop that in over there. I'm now just going to pick one of my templates. If I just go and type in loop, I'm just going to pick this one here. Don't worry too much about it. It's just a template. And I'm going to say, right, here's the important bit. How many slides are you going to sh or have activated or could become visible? So we're going to have six. How many do you show? This is going to be how many full ones you show. So if you go and select one and then you decide to do the offset, the one in the middle will be full, but the other two will be offset, okay? If I go for three, the three in the middle will be full, but the one either side of it, depending on which direction I pick, will be offset, okay? So I, just to get you to understand this, I'm going to go with three over here, and we're going to say slide to scroll is one. Down here where we have the settings, here's the option for the offset. Let me just change this to be two so it goes a little bit quicker when it is going. So we are going to say the offset. Do we want to go for both? Do we just want to go with the right hand side or the left? Now, when you do it here, unlike the standard carousel, which doesn't really show it to you until you go to preview, you will now get an idea of what this is going to look like. And can you now see? I picked three slides and now I've activated the offset. And a fourth slide has now come in. Let's pop this one over to be on both like this. And now you will have five, three in the middle and one either side. Well, let's go and chop and change that a little bit more. Let me change the offset width to be 120. By the way, if you start to make this be um, a, a really big number, you're going to see less of the offset and they feel more fuller, but it also makes the uh, items inside smaller as well, depending on the size of your container. So let's just pop that down to be 120 like that. Let's go back over to our layout. And how about we now change this to be uh, only show as one slide. So what you're now going to get is this. Now, this looks very, very odd. The reason being is because it's determined by the size of the container and it always takes a moment for it to kind of find itself. So you will find there are gaps appearing. But the, what you want to do in this circumstance is just go over to your container and modify the width of that. So I've made this now be 600 so it looks a little bit better. One thing you do have to bear in mind, though, when you are doing offsetting, though, when it's just images or a title, you can just about get away with it. When you have text, it may start to look a little bit funny. So what you've got to do is experiment, play with it. But if you want to have the offset feature with the loop grid, this is the loop carousel, remember? You can do it with posts. You can do it with products. It's super versatile. You can now do this. I'm Imran Web Squad, and I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time. Feel the pain, let the grind. I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that stack.